Hello, welcome back to my lectures. This is uh, first topic of uh, fourth unit. Unit title is Switched Capacitance Minimization. In this unit, uh, we are going to discuss about various topics like uh, hardware software code design, bus encoding, clock gating, clock gating granularity, logic styles for low power. These are the different uh, topics that we are going to discuss in this chapter. The first topic is hardware software code design. Uh, why we need to have a code design, hardware software code design is when you only uh, want to execute the things using hardware, it will be expensive first of all. In every VLSI circuits, there are three major requirements. First requirement is its price. Its price should be very less. Our electronic items must be cheap. Next is, it should be portable, handy. So, the second requirement of electronics is portability. Third one is, less power consuming. Example, for a battery operated device like your mobile phone, if your ba uh, mobile phone battery is lasting for 2-3 days, you love the mobile. If it is draining by the evening, you don't like. So, the third and most important uh, criteria of electronics, particularly the VLSA circuits, is uh, power consumption. When you want to realize the things using only hardware, it will not work out because a lot of hard hardware is required and it will raise the cost occupy large space so all are uh, negative consequences only so when you replace some part of the some possible part of the hardware with simple uh, software wherever it is possible that will reduce the hardware cost become portable consume less power all uh, electronic market demands are met with this hardware software co-design. So it is very essential for an electronics engineer to understand how hardware software co-design is made, is implemented, and uh, why it should be. So let us jump deep into this. So for example, take this example. In this example, you are going to measure the heat of a water bath water bath heater now for that the first important thing is you need to have a thermocouple which produces uh, current proportional to the temperature that is analog input that analog input is given to the adc analog to digital converter Output of ADC is digital uh, data. That digital data is given through its data lens. It is given to the microcontroller or microprocessor. That digital output is being processed. At the set temperature, it will be asked to cut off the heater of the bath. So, whenever microcontroller needs to check, needs to check the water heater temperature it will uh, assert or it will set the start conversion signal when adc receives start conversion it request from the microcontroller it will start converting the input into digital analog input into digital output whenever it has done it has finished converting analog into digital it will raise a signal end of conversion stating that i am done with my job then microcontroller starts reading the data lines this is fine 
a generally consider a water heater whose temperature will not change instantaneously. The ADC chip can be selected based on the sampling rate and precision of the digital data. So ADC chip which we use for our application can be selected uh, depending upon how precision it should be and um, how fast it should act. Both parameters can be kept into uh, consideration and uh, a proper decision may be taken. So as you need to have fast converting uh, ICs, it's, it is expensive uh, and as you raise the precision also, it will become more expensive. So that should be kept in mind. So the software overhead involved in this uh, approach is very small. This approach can provide higher performance in terms of conversion time and sampling rate. Conversion time will be very little in this case. The problem with this circuit is, see, uh, a DAC digital to analog converter is cheaper than ADC. Normally, ADCs are very expensive. ADCs are very expensive. Uh, DACs are a bit cheaper. So, along with the uh, cost, it incurs power dissipation also. To overcome that problem of expensiveness and power dissipation, what we need, what we can do is we can have the help of software. ADC implemented by hardware software mix that is called as co-design. Now in this case, if you see, a microcontroller is interfaced with an 8-bit uh, digital to analog converter. The digital data is given by the microcontroller. It will be converting. It will be converting the digital data into analog form, which is compared using a analog comparator, whose other input is analog input. For example. If it is set for 50 degrees temperature, a particular voltage that comes will be compared. If it is higher, it will produce a minus Vsat voltage, which will be read by the microcontroller. If it is, if this input is higher, that will be uh, that will be generating a plus Vsat. That will be generating a plus Vsat, and uh, that is given to the microcontroller. This is how. This is how an ADC uh, analog to digital converter can be avoided to have the same application. This comparator checks the given digital data with the ex external input, analog input. Uh, then uh, that comparator converts the analog data given by the DAC and analog data given by the sensor checks and tells the microcontroller whether to raise the data or lower the data this is one one type of um, converting uh, analog signal into digital form through dac so here hardware software role is greater than the previous case hardware is cheaper here this is cheaper one hardware one comparator in place of and ADC and other circuitry. If you observe this approach, it is clearly given. If the requirement analysis of the application is done, it is observed that the present application does not require fast conversion of the analog data to the digital data because the temperature of the water bath changes slowly and sampling of the output of temperature sensor can be done at the interval of few seconds. It need not to be very high as I have told you. Conversion rate may be smaller. And ADC functionality can be implemented by software with few inexpensive external components 
such as DAC and a comparator. NVATD converter algorithms such as successive approximation can be implemented. Successive approximation means half of the total full scale deflection will be given first. It is compared. If the input is higher than 50%, then it is in incremented. If the input is lower than 50%, then it is decremented. That is successive approximation in steps of half, half, half. We reach the output uh, in uh, around, for example, if it is a, a 8-bit DAC, we will reach it uh, 7 or 8 uh, bit steps. That is how hardware software code design helps you to reduce the cost, to, to reduce the uh, power consumption and to have an efficient design which meets the requirements of electronic industry. So uh, this is the introduction with the uh, with introduction to the introduction and the first topic of fourth unit. I hope you understood. Thank you.